fear not the oozing pumpkin. Tis only a chemical reaction. What's that, you ask? Well, let me show you. But first, we're gonna need a few things. We need our soon-to-be haunted jack-o'-lantern. Be sure to carve it before you start. You will also need one half cup, 30 volume hydrogen peroxide. Your parents can purchase it at the local beauty supply store. One tablespoon active dry yeast. Dawn liquid dish soap. You will need one squirt. Four to five drops of yellow food coloring to make your ooze all the more creepy. Three tablespoons warm water. The water must be warm in order to activate the yeast. And two additional cups. Remember, your cups need to be small enough to fit inside your pumpkin, but large enough to fit all the ingredients of our haunted brew. Now remember, hydrogen peroxide is irritating to the skin and eyes. And it can also bleach your clothes. So dress accordingly and avoid contact with skin and eyes. Only create your oozing pumpkin under adult supervision. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to haunt this jack-o'-lantern. Alright guys, here we are in my lab ready to haunt this pumpkin. Remember, hydrogen peroxide is irritating to the skin and eyes, so be sure to protect yourself. First, I'm going to take one half cup of hydrogen peroxide and pour it into one of our empty cups. Next, add five to 10 drops of food coloring for whatever spooky color you like. Now, add approximately one tablespoon of liquid Dawn dish soap, just a good squirt. And give it a quick stir. No paws or claws, we don't want any ghost fingers. All right, now, Take the top off of your jack-o'-lantern and gently place the cup inside. Pour one tablespoon or one quarter ounce package of active dry yeast into warm, not hot water. Then carefully pour the yeast mixture into the cup already in the pumpkin. Quickly put on the top and wait for the magic to happen. It's alive! It's a chemical reaction! Whoa, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but wait, don't go. I know you guys must be dying to know. How did I do that? And what was that oozy stuff anyway? Stay right there and we'll show you how it's done. When you combine hydrogen peroxide and dish soap, a chemical reaction begins to take place. This reaction would take hours to complete without the help of the yeast. Yeast serves as a catalyst, helping to speed up the chemical reaction. One way to think of a catalyst is to imagine walking to school. If you were going to walk to school, it would take a long time. However, if you were to ride a bus, you would get to school much faster. In this example, the catalyst is the bus helping you get to school faster. Now that you know how we haunted our jack-o'-lantern, the only question that remains was, what was that oozy stuff? Believe it or not, it's just water and oxygen, good old-fashioned soap bubbles. The ooze is created by the rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water. The soapy water traps the oxygen, creating bubbles, and turns into foam. A small amount of hydrogen peroxide generates a large volume of oxygen. This creates lots of pressure, causing the oxygen-filled soap bubbles to quickly push their way out of the jack-o'-lantern. Well, there you have it, folks. Go forth under parental supervision and haunt those pumpkins. <laughs>